Just days away from the 2023 postseason, these two teams who have already clinched their spot will meet for one final tune-up before the playoffs. Welcome to Orn Park. I'm Brendan Wett here for one of the final series of the regular season as the 6-6 six and six Diamondbacks will be hosting the 7-5 and five Mets. Playing in the middle of a heat wave, we'll be seeing temps in the 80s as we approach first pitch. Another beautiful day, though. We'll see if the exhaustion from this heat plays a role today. The Mets will be shorthanded today as Will Tesmer is out of town for today's series. Electing not to fill his spot before the 2023 postseason, Seth Hellman and Jackson Hart will play as a tandem here in Slate 5. As for the home side, full lineup for the Diamondbacks, Michael Lynch, Joe Cranfus, and Bryce Bedard. This is the lineup they will enter the postseason with, and with the NLDS on the horizon, an important final test for these three awaits them here today. Taking a look at the matchup history, it was the Mets who won all six meetings in 2022. A couple very close battles saw the Diamondbacks lose by just a few runs, but this team has not collected a win against the Mets in over two seasons now. Starting pitchers for today's series, two guys looking to catch fire as we near the postseason. Jackson Hart on the mound for the Mets. It was a really strong outing for him in slate four against the Braves. The Diamondbacks will send out Michael Lynch, who had one of the best performances of his career at Mini Fenway in slate four. Lynch has been hot and cold on the mound in 2023, but is hoping to have found his stride last series and carry that momentum into the playoffs. Mets and Diamondbacks just moments away. Let's head down to the field and talk with the players. All right, Jackson, slate five. Not an unfamiliar spot. You guys have locked up the number one seed in the American League. You're getting a buy into the ALCS. You're going to have a bit of a break after this series with the Diamondbacks. What's the conversation been like in the room heading into this series? I think it's just go out, keep the momentum going, keep the swings going. Obviously, i got to keep my arm warm. Don't want to take a, a game or a series off. So I think it's just more of keeping that strength going and doing what we're doing the best. All right, Joe, number two seed in the NL is locked up. You've got a date with the Padres in the NLDS pretty much a couple days from now. It's really close margins between Slate 5 and the NLDS. What's the conversation been with you and Captain Lynch and Bryce heading into this series and the preparation looking forward to the playoffs? You know, just put the bat in the ball, make good plays in the field, try to lessen the errors, so just play, base, uh, play some football. And although there isn't necessarily any statistical meaning to today's series, is there any personal endeavors for your team heading into the series with the Mets dating back to last year? You know, last year was tough. They took us on, they took us two on three and we still lost, but you know, I'm hope, hoping to get that back this year. Awesome. Well, an exciting Slate 5 matchup we have here. This one's got some history behind it. Mets, D-backs, let's get it going. Slate 5, just days before the postseason. Not playing for anything in terms of seeding, but don't mistake this series for a dull one. We've got some personal history on both sides of this matchup. And it starts with the guys who you see on the screen right here. Michael Lynch on the mound, Seth Hellman digs in. Here we go. The 3-1. In the dirt, Seth is aboard with a gentleman's walk. Jackson Hart said pregame he wants to solidify his MVP candidacy. Counts full, Lynch battling back, he deals. No. Hits Jackson in the hand, Lynch loses him, runners on first and second. The 3-0, Lynch deals. Just outside, bases are loaded. 3-2 full count, Lynch deals. Got him looking, there's one away. The 3-2, full count, bases loaded and it misses low. The Mets are on the board. One nothing game here in the top of the first. Three, two, full count. And he got him looking. Lynch surrenders one, but he bounces back pretty nicely. We're headed to the bottom half. Bottom one, Diamondbacks gave up one. It's their turn to put some runs on the board. Jackson Hart on the mound. Bryce Bedard digs in. Bryce, you want your 9-9? Two, two again. And he got him looking, there's one away. Joe Cranfus digs in. 2-2, can make it a quick inning. He does. Two up, two down, headed to the second. Three and one. That one is high and away. Seth walks. Swing and a miss. Michael sets him down on strikes, there's one away. The one-two from Lynch to get out of it. He got him looking. Headed to the bottom of the second. 
Still one nothing. Bottom second, Michael Lynch steps in. His first at bat of the day. The one two. Oh wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's so Swing and a miss, hat comes off. There's one away. Bryce steps back in, there's one gone. The three one, Jackson deals. Outside. Diamondbacks have a base runner, it's their first, and Joe Cranefist digs in. Full count pitch. Jackson deals, and he got him looking. Three up, two down. Headed to the third, it's still a one run lead for the Mets. Top of the third. Mets can add some insurance right here. Full count delivery. And he leaves it. Down 0-2 in the county, battles back for the walk. The 0-2, and he got him looking. Three straight strikes from Lynch, there's one away. The 1-2, swing and a miss. Michael Lynch looking solid on the mound. Can the Diamondbacks come up with yet another walk-off in the bottom of the third? That's where we're headed. It's the bottom of the third. The Mets lead by a single run. Captain Michael Lynch will lead things off for the Diamondbacks. The 3-2. Swing and a miss, he got him. Bryce Bedard. Last hope for the Diamondbacks in game one. 3-1. And he leaves it outside. Tying run is on base. Joe Crane fist digs in. He represents the winning run. 2-2, Jackson deals. Swing and a miss. Mets take game one. The only difference, a walked in batter in the first inning. A lot of series left, we're headed to game two. Game two, it's Jackson Hart back on the mound. Mets will be defending home field here in the second game. The 3-1. That, that one's hit into left three. field. All-star! All Diamondbacks star. have their first hit. 3-2 after a couple inside pitches. That one lands outside. Diamondbacks have a runner in scoring position. Nobody out. That one roped. To first, safe all around. Bryce looks to test him, he won't. Michael Lynch firing up the squad here in game two. The 2 2 delivery. He got him looking, there's one away. Joe Cranfus digs in, bases loaded, one gone. That one is popped up into right. Jackson will make the play. Avoids a big, big, Big jam. Loaded the bases with nobody out. He bounces back and collects two. We're still scoreless, headed to the bottom half of the first. Bottom of the first, Seth Hellman leading off for the Mets. Michael Lynch still on the mound for the Diamondbacks. The 0 2. That one's fair. Joe will collect. He'll hold it. Seth's got a single. The 3 1. That one roped to left off the left field fence. A crazy hop. Runners are safe all around. Jackson Hart puts one in the hit column. The 2-2. Pop back to Lynch. He'll make the play. Jackson won't test him. There's one away. Won't count from Lynch. He deals. Pitch hits the lower leg. Does not catch the frame. Jackson walks. And the bases are loaded. Two and two, Number 12 deals. Swing and a miss, he gets out of a jam of his own. Back-to-back -back innings where we have loaded bases and no runs. Scoreless frame in the first, we're headed to the second. Second inning, we're scoreless. Michael Lynch will lead things off for the Diamondbacks. Full count delivery. That one back, it is in play. Reacted to that, I thought it was gone. <laughs> that one catches the yellow top noodle on the fence, stays in play, but it was a loud single to quote the pitcher. Counts full. Jackson deals. Low. 
thought that was going to snag it. Get that. Hits the leg piece. Bryce is aboard. Runners on first and second. Nobody out for Joe. The one, two. That one roped to Seth. It's into center field. Michael will come home and score. The Diamondbacks have the lead. That's like so hard to wrap <laughs> An RBI single for Joe Cranefist. Could prove to be a big one, but the Diamondbacks have a one-run lead for the first time this series. 2-2, two -two, Jackson deals. Swing and a miss, he got him. One away. 2-2 two -two once more. That one got it. Mets give up one. Bounce back pretty nicely. Head to the bottom of the second. Jackson Hart digs in, bottom of the second. Mets looking for an answer after giving up a run. The 3-1. Lynch deals. That one hangs high. Jackson is aboard with a five-pitch walk. The one-two. Got him looking. Nasty pitch from Lynch. There's one away. Three-two full count from Lynch. He got him. Chili from Michael Lynch. We're headed to the third. Two-two. He got him looking. One away. One, two, you got him looking. That's always the pitch. Dude. Easy inning from the Mets, two up, two down. They'll have a chance to tie it or walk it off here in the bottom of the third. Bottom three in game two. Mets are gonna go fishing for a walk off here. Seth Hellman the lead off man. The three, two from Lynch. Just misses outside. Seth's aboard with a walk. Winning run at the plate, nobody out. It's high, Michael makes the play, one gone. Not a complete weight off the shoulders of Diamondback fans yet, but a little bit of a sigh of relief. The one, two, Lynch deals. Got him swinging. Diamondbacks respond to a 1-0 loss with a 1-0 victory. A pitcher's duel here. And although it doesn't mean much, it's an entertaining one here at Orn Park. We're gonna head to a decisive game three. Series nodded, one apiece. Swing and a miss. Three straight from Lynch. There's one gone. The 2-2. Two, two. That one is gone. A line drive homer for Jackson Hart. On a 2-2 two, two count, he gives the Mets a one-run lead here in the top of the first. That one is gone. That one oh. is yes. gone. Fuck. That one is gone. 3-1. Low. That one's way gone. Two-run shot for Jackson. His second this inning, his second this series. 3-0 lead for the Mets. That one's way gone. Come on, dude. That one's way gone. Three one. Loses some high. Sets the board. The three zero. Oh. That one over to Joe. He makes the play. They're out of the inning. They give up three. Headed to the bottom of the first. That caught the top of the zone. Nasty slider from Jackson Hart. There's one away. 3-1, Jackson deals low. Joe walks. Michael has himself a base runner. One gone here in the bottom of the first. That one roped to Seth. Safe all around. Michael pushes Joe over. Runner on first, runner on second for Bryce. Full count pitch, Jackson deals, and it's high. Bases are loaded. Joe digs in with the bases loaded and one out. Full count pitch from Jackson. 
swing and a miss. He gets out of it. Loads the bases, gives up none. We're headed to the second. Leaves it. Four pitch walk. That one stays fair. No play to be made, safe all around. The 3 0. Four pitch walk, bases are loaded. The 3 1. Gets the camera, walks in a run. 4 0 Mets. Got him looking, one gone. That one over to Joe. Oh. He got him! Wow. A highlight real play. <laughs> he did it the hard way. He could have stepped on third instead. It's the 20 foot peg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play around. <laughs> what a play from Joe. We head to the bottom of the second, 4 0 Mets. Bottom two, 4 0 lead for the Mets. Jackson deals. That one stays fair. Safe all around. <laughs> Michael Lynch legs that one out. 2 2. And he got him looking. Jackson Hart with the sidearm delivery. He gets the punch out with one gone. 3 2, full count. Jackson deals. He gets him looking. Headed to the third. Still 4 0 Mets. 3 2. Leaves it. Jackson Hart digs in. Runner on first. Nobody out. Hold on. That one back to Joe. Safe. Swing and a miss. One gone here in the top of the third for Jackson. Oh, why didn't I move? <laughs> the 2 2 from Lynch. Swing and a miss. Giving his team a chance, they trail by four. They're gonna look to make that up in the bottom of the third. Michael Lynch digs in, they trail by four. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Catches the outside pipe as well. A quick strikeout for Jackson. Diamondbacks down to their last out. Bryce digs in. That one high, back. Will stay in the park, he's got a single. Oh my God. He's out! <laughs> One of the most bizarre endings to a game ever. Jackson and Seth. Jackson and Seth collide with each other. Seth scissored Jackson, took him down with him. But they are able to tag Bryce who gets a little too greedy and it's a 4-0 victory for the Mets in game three. A nine and six regular season record for the Mets. A seven and eight regular season record for the Diamondbacks. We'll talk with both teams in a minute as the light continues to fade here at Orn Park. All right, here with the Diamondbacks, guys, you finished seven and eight, probably not where you expected to be at the start of the season, but a very productive season from you. And you're in second in the NL, and Michael, I don't think you thought seven and eight was gonna be enough to get you second, but it is. We'll talk with Bryce first, we'll get back to Michael in a second. Bryce, how would you categorize your season this year as a team? Um, I feel like every series, like we never really lost. Like there's always like a chance to come back and win a series, or we're in like very close games, but. I'd never say we were like truly out of it. I don't think seven eight fully reflects like the strength of our team. And that's about it for that. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Michael. We'll talk with you, team captain, leading the team to seven wins. A very solid season from you on the mound. A lot of those wins came because of your performance on the mound. We saw a little bit of that today. Heading into the playoffs, how's your arm feeling? I, I feel good. Uh, you no know, quick turnaround, but I'm excited for that. I think you know it's good to have my arm kind of warm for that. Uh, 
just staying consistent and kind of like not to not answer your question but to touch on Bryce. I think we got better every game, even if we lost some. So I'm excited for the playoffs. Definitely. And talking about the playoffs, Joe, NLDS against division rival Padre. I feel like a broken record saying that these two teams find each other in the playoffs time and time again. A little bit of a preview from you on how that series is going to go for your team. Ship. We're going to do it the same way we did that, the Fenway series. That's how we're going to do it. Ooh. Awesome. That reminder that the Diamondbacks won the Fenway Series 2-1, for those who don't know what that means. Well, <laughs> guys, great season. Finished 7-8, and eight, second in the National League, and you've got a date with the Padres in the NLDS, so rest up and get ready for it. Are you going to message for the kids? Message for the kids. Always double down on 11 and always split nines. Always, always, always. Wise words from number nine. <laughs> All right, here with the Mets, it was a 9-6 and six regular season record for you guys. You really caught heat um, from Slate 4 and Slate 5 and heading into the playoffs. Seth, just talk about your performance today as a team and overall rallying uh, after a bit of a slow start to get back into that number one seed in the AL. Yeah, I mean, I've said it a million times, and I'm just a broken record, but I'm going to keep on saying it over and over again. This team goes as far as Jackson takes us, right? So obviously he was dominating on both sides of the ball today, and even though I was very much not having a good day at the plate, uh, the few times I was getting on base, he was able to get me in. So um, yeah, we feel good. Um, proud of the effort this year. It was a big goal of ours to at least finish ahead of everyone else from the original crew last year, um, especially coming out of Slate 2 and how that went. So um, finishing second overall in the league feels good. Would have rather have had double digit wins, would have rather have a lot of things went differently. So. Yeah, and then Jackson, we'll talk with you. You guys are going to be resting this week during the divisional series, but I'm sure you'll be scoreboard watching. Do you have any preferences as to who you'd rather face between the A's and the Braves heading into this highly anticipated ALCS? No preference. We'll take whoever we get. We feel confident with whoever we get. Obviously, we beat Braves. We swept the Braves. We took two of them from the Athletics, so we beat both these teams. We've seen both the teams, but no matter who we get, we're going to have to go through everyone to win it all. So no matter who, we, no preference. Definitely a yeah, good mindset heading into the postseason. Mets back-to-back -back years. You guys finish atop the American League. Congratulations on a great season finishing 9-6. and six. See him back here for the ALCS. And we thank you all so much for watching. Next video, final regular season series between the A's and the Braves.